Today's show is brought to you by True Classic Tees. The logo is right front and center on TG, so you look straight ahead, baby, and just point down like that because you the guy today, man. And why do we like True Classic Tees? Well, as y'all can see underneath the jersey, this is what I'm rocking right now, a True Classic Tee, man. You get the nice, you know, athletic build on the muscles, make you look good, but then you a little bit of loose play in the midsection, all right, for all my peoples that don't want to work out but look the part. And you know we got promo code. So promo code is MOCH. You use that at trueclassictees.com. Get you 25% off of your purchase. You love that, baby. So stop wasting time, man. True Classic Tees, where's happening? So let me ask you a question. Can I ask a, a, mm -hmm. a dangerous question to you? Uh -oh. Yeah. Talk let nice to me. Let's do it. Question. Let's do it. Let's say something. Just say, and I mean, this is just off the wall. Uh -oh. Say say Kenny comes down with mono. Early in the season. Hey, hold on. Pulls a bro. Sam Darnold. What are we doing? Just, just, <laughs> just, just, just inside the <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam Darnold. Say he comes down with mono or something, right? Okay. And then the first couple weeks go a little bit rough. First couple weeks go a little bit rough. This is with Mitch? Yeah, it's booze all in the stadium. It's just tough. We, we would never. All right, never, of course. But it's They only rough. boo Mitch. You don't boo it's Kenny. Rough. Come on, man. Let me ask you this. <laughs> and it's starting to look like the first pick is in your favor. Uh oh. Do you leave that in and go get the first pick? And uh, with nah. that pick, do you go the the program changer? Because they saying this next first pick Ooh. is a program changer. Ooh. They're like, this guy's gonna change people's programs. Tank for Caleb type conversations are out here. Do you engage in that? No. Or do you, so no. I'm just and this is now you know the mono and all this stuff. If anything weird happens. And you have a chance at, do you go for it or do you? No. That was my answer all last year, too. Because, Pete, trust me, people yeah, were talking about it. popped that. up multiple times. I think we were yeah. like two and six going yeah. into the bye. So people yeah. were saying, like, oh, we should just tank, tank, tank. Bryce, and some CJ. people were bringing up yeah. the quarterbacks, like Bryce and CJ. I was like, yeah. F, no, no we ain't doing that. Were, I don't think those no, were program changers. But, but tried, a, a lot of people were like also bringing up, like, Will Anderson, just yeah. trying to get a top five guy. Right. this next human coming out. We know who the first pick in the draft is next year. It's Caleb. It's nothing to talk about. Like, we didn't have that prospect he, he this, could, this is could, like Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, he could low-key yeah, yeah. pull the I'm not playing this yeah. year card. Yeah. Like, he's got enough out there. Where I would like, agree. He could just get ready for the draft. Yeah, I would agree. We know who the first pick is. I think I know your answer in this situation. <laughs> I just want to know. Like, if it gets a <laughs> no, little No, no, no. No, you, you play to win the game. Okay. Yeah. And then you said Kenny's only out with Mana, too. Like, he, he's back. Yeah, after it's, like it's not like he broke his leg. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. say... Uh, don't wish death on him. I don't wish no death on him. You know what I'm just, saying? I feel like you about to be like, yeah, yeah. Saying, like, just say, say he's going to the car. Say he had you know, the mono. Yeah, he had he the pull mono. a hamstring and it tears or, off the bone. I'm, I'm like, God, thank you, TG. I'm just more saying. Just say he's sure. not in the he's just. Can we just leave him? He's, he's just unavailable. You're saying we, we got a bad record. It's looking bad yeah. is what you're saying. What do you want to do? Oh, uh, you, you keep fighting. You keep winning. KB, you put him KB, back in. That's what I'm asking. So you're saying we're doing bad with Mitch. Yeah. And he's coming back. Do you put him back in and go try to win? or do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. No, no, absolutely. Yeah, because I get what you're asking. He's, I feel like if you... No, because what he's asking is this. He's like, say we got same expectations right now as the season, right? Mm -hmm. But for some reason, after game one or game two, Kenny's going to miss six games. Mm -hmm. And in that time, That's we didn't fail to two and six. We had two and eight, and we're right on that cusp of we are about to be mathematically not even in this convo. Do you even put him back out there? Mm -hmm. Or do you say, you know what, man, we really got a chance to get one of these top picks potentially. Like, let's go ahead and IR you. Let's go ahead and sit you down because the season's already lost. That's, that's what he's asking. No, well, you know I'm against that's that mentality asking. in general. No death on nobody, yeah, that's what he's asking. I'm, a, I'm against that mentality in general. Yeah. Unless you're mathematically completely out of it. I, I don't want to hear any of that. Yeah. But also, I feel like you're setting, sending the message that if you sit Kenny the rest of the way, you're good with him being the franchise. Yeah. To an extent, it is a mixed okay, message, yeah, that. to an extent. I feel like Kenny would need to be out there playing bad, but he's dealing with an injury. Okay. Almost like Russ this past year where you're like, is he really bad or is it the shoulder? And if it gets to the point where it's questioning, like, all right, just shut him down. I think now you start to have that real conversation of, all right, well, man, can we make a run for this thing, potentially get one of these picks without it all the way still saying that, oh, yeah, man, we just air milling this guy till next year because we feel that confident about the quarterback. I think he would have to be – like compromised or some like legit factor. If it was a Matt Kennedy thing, mm -hmm. we're like he's playing bad, but it's really the scheme. Like we're looking at the cause; it's just too predictable. I think if something like that, that's the scenario you're talking about mm -hmm. that you tried to put him in that box of like, all right, if it looked like that, would you still be on this Kenny Pickett train a hundred percent, or would you eventually be like, you know what, man, Caleb Williams, this might be one of the ones that yeah it does make sense, even though it's hard. 
almost identical, not to the same extent, but I think of when Arizona decided to go Kyler Murray, right? Mm-hmm. They had just took Josh Rosen the year before, the mm-hmm. 10th overall pick. Rocky first year, but it was some factors in it. Right. But they were like, yo, this is a program change. This is a guy to us. Because yeah. this guy coming you know out saying? is a program change. Somebody's going to yeah. have drama. That's how they look something. at it, yeah. Like, this is a program changer coming in here this year, next year. Like, they, yeah. you can go get Pat Mahomes Jr., they're saying. This they're is your, saying. That's what he's they're saying. saying. He, look yeah. at the tape. I know he's good. Is there. Is there. Like, so you he's saying go, if that was the situation, yeah, they're like, saying. how you feeling on that? What do yeah. you do? Like, what do you do? Cause this the, no, this is all under the premise that Kenny just sucks this year, though. Like, I, I just But not him just, sucking just to happen. suck. It's not him just sucking just to suck. It's like compromise. It, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, all right. I'm with you. We got to see what happens. But I'm more like if something happened and then you come back in, do you IR him or you put him back in, just stuff like that. I'm with you. I hear you. Yeah. I think but, but, he, but you, you don't yeah so you his, his loyalty though yeah, is so die hard to, you know what I'm saying yeah say. yeah it's, it's nah, super nah, loyal dude, right now listen loyal. It's, yeah it's like I, I just I can't see Kenny doing bad like I, I yeah. truly believe he's got that in him where, like, TG it's only one quarterback that he sees taking Kenny's job <laughs> seven that's literally it. Yeah. That that's, literally, so your you scenario right that, there, whenever you said you Kenny's out with an injury, Mitch is doing bad, I'm actually thinking you call up seven. seven. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's his boss. I, I think you call up seven for one last <laughs> run here. So you feel like seven could still come in here. Yeah. I feel like this is the year. Like this is, he'll be, it'll be like, what, a year and a half removed. I feel like he comes back this year. I, I told you the scenario. If like Kenny goes down with injury and Mitch comes in and he's sucking, then. Right, this could be the year of like, yo, what you want to do? I think you call up the old gunslinger. That's if Ken, like I said, if Kenny's out for the season, whatever. Kind of like they did Philip Rivers and all Yeah, like, you see, yeah, Matt, come on. Because this team, I mean, yeah. you, you you see the weapons we got, you see the roster we got. I can even imagine. <laughs> Tom will be back. Huh? Tom will be back. We talked about that. You see Tom again? I give you. That's the only OG I see coming back. So you're hold on. Here's my thing. So you're willing to just tank the whole season, all that, for this Caleb Williams dude. Even though we just we drafted Peckett, yeah. and, and you've even talked highly of Peckett, right? Mm-hmm. I would. I, would. I, I feel like it's it's a bad thing for the culture. I just I don't think it's a good thing. I think so. But is this an outlier though? Is this an outlier? Because if it's an outlier, I think I just don't think it's what you do, no matter what. Hmm. Okay. I don't think this is a normal person either. So I don't. I somebody's gonna have some drama. Somebody's yeah. gonna start the season slow, and they're gonna be like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Yeah. We're going to go get that life changer over there. This is a life changer. This is going to be Miami situation of a couple of years ago where the owner uh, said, hey, hey, I'll, I'll pay you a few extra if you lose. Yeah, I can see, like, this is a program changer coming up. This is a game changer. This is a, like. We're going to see, though. Yeah. We're going to see. Because I feel like I get what you're saying about Caleb Williams, and that's why he has the buzz that he has as a prospect. But at the same like, time. I've even heard the same thing seen, about Andrew Luck. And yeah, that was a program changer. That was he was. Yeah. was. He that was. wasn't no yeah. normal. Like he was. Yeah. The Colts have been trying no. to like, left a little no. left, left a little yeah. out there. No. That was a program changer. Left a little out there. They he he retired. Trust me, he just that. retired. If he don't retire, but we hey, still, still talking about that. that. Yeah, and that's a problem. That yeah. would still give problems right now. The Facts. Colts wouldn't have got that. I pick. think that could come off right now and still get active. Yeah. Like yeah. he's skinny as hell. That's his problem. Yeah, but he's still he's still he retired. But but no. Well, he would have been like twenty eight. He's not that old. Yeah. Oh no, he he needs to, he needs to get back in shape though. No, he he I'm, would need like I'm a full saying, year. I'm not saying he yeah. do it, but I'm saying he's so he, skinny right now. If he never yeah. left, that would have, like he's a guy like he was worth the. We needed this. Yeah. That's a life change. That's a program change. But I'm gonna still stay consistent with what I always stay with, man. I've seen Kenny play in the NFL for a full season now. I've seen him read these defense. I've seen him adapt. I've seen him make plays in the clutch. Yeah. I got to see Caleb Williams do it in the NFL. Like, you, th- you think because like you know how it goes, bro. We, you know how it go. I think the it's, arm gets Landry you out Jones of a lot was of an elite though. quarterback in college, was he not? Was, you saw that every day in practice. We know Landry what that felt college. like. We and we know what it felt Landry like in the league, got me though. Here. But <laughs> I know how that was. Know, but but but, say, but what I'm saying is, here. you saw that on a day to day. But that's but still different. That, but I'm simply saying. A lot of high end dudes come out of college. Ryan Leaf came out of college. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like we could go down the list. T Bow, we can go down the list. Way different. All I'm saying is when you talk buzz, when you talk, oh, you gotta have this guy and all this other stuff. We hear this every Josh Rose when we brought him up. He was a tenth overall pick, right? He was another one of the news. K miss, all this other stuff. Mm-mm. But we know when you in here and it's time to go, 
Not everybody gonna play. But you know, Caleb, not everybody do that, bro. Now I don't think that. I think Caleb's one of these generational ones. I will give him that. I like in terms of arm, okay, speed, uh huh, uh, size, uh huh, look, uh huh, counts like. He fits. Every, I'm with you. I, I haven't seen too many fit every check mark. Like Trevor did. Trevor Lawrence did. Trevor did. Trevor did. Trevor did. Luck, Trevor did. Luck was Trevor one of them fit. too. Luck would have been the next luck one. Was one. Yeah, of them. they fit. I'm every with you. Check mark. I'm with you. So this is a rarity. We gonna see. Yeah, I'm with them, like, you. Yeah, these we don't gonna come see every year. We gonna see. Yeah. But you was just trying to sell me on Anthony Richardson being that too. I think I think he was hitting oh, all of these check see? marks. Yeah, but all these other check marks down here, he was hitting them. Yeah. Miss, miss, check, 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 check. Okay. But no. you missed the big misses, though. That's what I'm saying. Caleb got the big, he got the big checks. He checked all that. Josh Allen the way, came with them same misses when he got in here. But, bro, you talking about an outlier. Josh was an outlier. The fact that he could develop that, mm-hmm. that's not real. That's what we're going to see. So you base it outliers as the norm, then. That's what you're trying to tell but me? But I don't think, I don't think Caleb's in that category. I think Caleb's like a... He checks all the boxes. I'm with you, yeah. yeah that's yeah. him and Anthony Richardson, and you know how I feel about AR. Right, but the way you They're be talking about AR colors. make me sound you talking about Caleb at times. Nah. That's how you and be talking about it. I love Caleb, if that's the case. Oh, because right, I'm about to say it sound like AR. you talk like AR like you talking about Caleb. I'm like, AR ain't Caleb, bro. If the Colts get the first pick in the draft, we're going Oh, <laughs> Caleb. Bro, your loyalty is crazy. Your effort. You real. All right, I'm going to tell you the truth. That. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I know y'all probably think TG ain't got no backbone. He probably ain't got no look. TG is actually super loyal. TG is actually a dope person to have in your life. I promise you, okay? But clearly, when it comes to creating a team, when it comes to keeping a guy on your team, boy, he ain't got no loyalty out here. TG is for the streets when bro, it comes to creating bro. and keeping you on your roster. Boy, I'm in the business said, of winning. The way you sold us on AR and the you business. just flipped and said, yo, I would take Caleb Williams next if I'm the coach. God. Yeah, tomorrow. What? If I got the first pick. Oh, man. Caleb. No oh, man. <laughs> he say what, loyalty? But I feel like it's crazy because that's where it's going to get drama because it's like that for a lot of people. It is. If you Houston and y'all stink early on, Caleb, no matter you might what. sit around. Yeah. And, and to be honest with you, <laughs> it's Come only on, it's only about two teams that don't say that. It's like the Chiefs, maybe the Bills. Well, in the uh, I thought uh, Lamar, and Joe Burrow. I thought Lamar in there. Lamar's combo could get weird. We're That's gonna trade because he got the guarantee. The, he got the yeah, money. The guarantee now. Yeah, get him there. Yeah, so that, the money good now. But if I could trade it, man, the Browns are gonna be in a weird situation <clears throat> in two seconds. There's yeah. It depends on how this year goes. Mm-hmm. If Let he don't, thing he got work. about to say if it take another, yeah. like it can't take two what whole can I years. Do with this? Yeah, it can't take two How whole can, years. Does somebody want to <clears> anybody? I, anybody? The year you get, okay, we give you the year. We'll pay it forty, and y'all pay it the rest, and yeah. y'all take it. That that would definitely happen if it if it take another. Mm. Yeah, it can't take two years. No, it can't has get two to work years. This year. Yeah, you got about six games, and they and brought in start the, figuring uh, it out. They brought in the offensive people yeah. from the um, uh huh from the college. Mm-hmm. Like it's supposed, they're gonna throw the ball a lot this year. That's why I thought DeWan Jones was a bad pick over there. Because mm. I'm like, they're not going to play that style yeah. of ball. Yeah, run ball. Yeah. That's a fourth rounder, though. I get yeah. it, but it's still. They're Take trying, the fly. They're trying. hurt on it. Yeah. But he's going to play, though. Yeah, he he's going to play. Yeah. That's, that's a huge human. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Don't I let like some. It. Okay, I'm just saying. I see where you're I like at. Don't let that. I like come I see some wrong people. And then I see. To, I see where some of your prop bets are lying. I see you where see this right? question's coming. You I see, see what he's doing. I see. You see what he's doing. If, if you're a betting man, and I don't know if they, you know, no free shout outs. Yeah. Go put that in right now. Yeah. Caleb, but but if y'all one. do bet, like we said, man, oh. <laughs> use DraftKings and use the promo Dude, code. It's got to be so so much in the minuses. Caleb, number one, put that in. right Everyone knows. I'm with you. Everyone knows. That's a great investment. If you got some money, just sit around. You can't go wrong with it. Right. You can maybe get like 10 percent on that. Make some good money on that. Yeah. I get you. 